to another episode of Collection Spotlight. I'm Dan Burroughs, Curator of Collections here at the South Dakota Cultural Heritage Center. And today we're going to be looking at the museum's most prized possession. It's our crown jewel in, in our collection. And it's also the State Historical Society's logo. It is our Sioux horse, horse effigy dance stick. Now, we believe it was carved by a Hunkpapal Lakota warrior around 1870. The wood carving is about three feet long. It has horsehair mane and tail, as well as horsehair below his chin. His, ear, his eyes are brass tacks, which probably would have been a trade item. The horse's ears and reins are made of leather. Now, we believe the carving is a tribu tribute to a brave horse that was lost in battle. And if you take a look, you'll notice a number of red holes with what appears to be blood coming out. This represents places where the horse is shot. Also, the red dyed horse hair uh, represents blood that is pouring out of the horse's mouth. And you'll also notice that the horse has his ears pinned back, which is a sign of fear and pain. Finally, the very prominent striding or leaping motion suggests that the horse is leaping from life to death. This piece was collected by Mary Collins. She was a missionary on the Standing Rock Indian Reservation, which is in North Central South Dakota and South Central North Dakota. Uh, she was a trusted friend of the Native Americans and a personal friend of City Mules. She donated this and a number of other items to the museum prior to her death in 1920. Now this is a very well-traveled piece. It has taken part in a number of prominent exhibits uh, across the world, including exhibits in the United States, Canada, and Europe. Uh, Perhaps the most famous exhibit that it was in was Sacred Circles uh, that took place in the 1970s at the Nelson Atkins Art Gallery in Kansas City. Uh, and it, at that exhibit, it was actually the featured piece. Now, when it was traveling around Europe, it was proclaimed that it was the finest piece of horse sculpture in the world. Um, if you take a look in pretty much any book that relates to Native American art, you will find this piece included in it. Now this piece is extremely, extremely rare. Uh, in the Sacred Circles exhibit catalog, it was noted that this is the only known piece of uh, equine sculpture that's got the complete body carved. Uh, now there are rumors that there is another piece like it, like this, uh, in a private collection up in North Dakota. However, I've never seen any photos of it or any reference to it in any publications. So, in my mind, this is a one of a kind. Make sure to check out our other YouTube videos and find us on Facebook. Thanks for joining us.